All right. You're welcome to Alpha Swing Machine. In in this video, I want to be discussing on how you can install your industrial street swing machine, and I promise you, you have the best you can ever have. It. Now, this will happen in this video. You can see some specific or special skills anybody is using. I want you to make sure you are picking the important things there. Now, let's go straight to the point. When you are buying an industrial street swing machine, with a model 8500 you have your clutch motor, you have your uh, machine electric, and you have the table. So in the installation, you have to start from the table then to the motor, and we complete it on there. So let's start. So this is what I tell anybody, most especially when I'm sending these videos to you, maybe I'm not on YouTube, make sure that as you are doing this video, you are also putting it to use. Don't just look at it and maybe you are in your bed, you just feel like doing it and you want to go back to sleep. So that for your better understanding why you are on this video, make sure you are. So alright, in this video you are using some specific video tools like you have. So you can see you have a really machine, you have some fixed system. I will just make use of some tools like you are using these devices. So the first is, you have your flyer, you have a spanner, button, and on the other side, we have 13. You have a star screwdriver, hammer, and flat screwdriver. That's all, that's all you need for this video. So, if you can have this, you can hit the machine from the beginning today. So, let's get started. So, in case you are going to start to lie on, maybe you are doing other stuff like email or crown or beautiful, you notice that this thing is not direct. This two, this is where the longer side of this is. That's where this fits. So you don't have to make a mistake. Compare it this way. You can see it's not even trying to control. You are not trying to make a zip sign. Zip sign. So now this is it. So and one of the things I tell my customers when anybody is the video is make sure that your nut is not maybe. I know you know it's not so long with this video. Many of these things it's possible you might not finish the installation. So let's open this one. Yeah. So let's get started. These two. Now, when you are trying to arrange these knots. In case you have the one that's arranged already, you can just move. But when it's not arranged already, just try and see the process. What happens is first in the knot, you put the ring first, then the ring, you put the ring first, after the ring, then the washer. That's how it is. That's one. The ring first, then the washer. The ring first. Now, this outside, this is how it will be facing. You can see it will be facing this direction into your machine. Now, you can clearly see it from the camera. You can see it clearly, but you can see the way I'm positioning it. So, after you position it this way, you give it lots on the other side. Here. So this one, the same thing is applicable to this, this is in down first. There are some times when you install your machine and you notice the table is kind of slant or it's not standing properly. What happens is 
इधर वन ऑफिस तो ना ना तो ये उम्मीद से ये सेम आइस पोजीशन सो नोटिस actually this machine was produced by the china and they have a so let me say they are short they have a very short height so you can decide to bring your machine to this side if you buy a very short height but you can't be a nigerian and you'll be using this this kind of height so you have to bring it up if you're having if you're a kind of tall person you have to bring it up so if you know your height size is below six feet or five just try and bring it down so you have to be clamping your machine so let's continue here we are using spanner size 14 we are using 14 spanner for this knot here It's possible your machine is not having this side. It's not having it. Okay. Just make sure this is so not tight. Okay. This two is this two is okay for for better um, so that your machine will not be dancing while you are using it. Just add this to it. Yeah, you must ensure you're having it very tight because you know this guy, this is, let me, let me make it so you can see the result of not having it tight. After this, 
next one is this bar. <coughs> now, pay close attention. Pay close attention. This is what happened here. You can see there is two knots here. Now, this is what happened to the knot. This is what happened to the knot. Is that what happened to the knot? There are some machine either other products like beautiful, like other products that. Yeah. It's possible this is not positioned. Now you really want to position it yourself. So if you want to position it yourself, just bring it in between the side. Now you can hold it this way. Then you place the bar on it. I'll screw it. That's all. So. So, right there we are done with the stand. And it's Let's fix the bottom. So your motor, you notice you have these three rubber. You have these dots. speed is up is you can see this pulley is 75 mm they are home time different they are bigger than small first these three knots Now, please, please play close attention, close attention to the side. This motor has settings. You can't just place it there anyhow because this must be directly adjacent to this hole. If it's a bit high or too behind, if it is too behind. By the time you're using your motor, you notice your belt will be touching the table, of which it will damage the belt easily. So make sure it's at the middle. Just try and use your eyes to get it. Make sure it's at the middle. If it's at the middle, then you are free to go. Now, the nuts. The nuts for the pulley. We have this this bear, this victory. This victory are the washers. You have to put them first. So, these are the three ones. Then the washers. Mm -hmm. 
Three. Then the lot. So. So the lot. We are using a fourteen spanner. Fourteen spanner. Where are you? Alright. If you notice, we are using most of 14. The machine, your own machine can be most of 13 because I notice our uh, crown industrial machine is 13 instead of 14. Yeah. So don't be moved by me just using 14 and 14. It's possible yours is 13 and it's possible it is 15. It depends on the actual size that is there. So in this machine, this two lion, I'm using 14. So after this, now in this video, I'll be using armor for this side. It's possible you can use a schooling machine if you have it. If you have a drilling or school machine, I use it to school it. But the reason I'm not using machine here is because yeah, you know, it's possible you're just a one-time use of this video. Just want to fix your machine and start using it. So, ask you to go and get a machine to fix the machine, just like stressing one. So, yeah, I'm using uh, my armor and my staff to fix it. So, pay close to this machine. Now, this is possible you can decide to put it here or you put it at this side. Any of it is your choice. But the majority of the time I fix industrial machines for my customers, I, I place it here because it's like it's the right hand. So, I just put it in place, right? And while we are done copying the machine, you see it. So let's continue. One, two. If you notice, if you can put your hand in here, it's not beyond. So if you try and put something, if you nail it something too close to this side, it's possible you get your switch spoiled easily. So just make sure it's something that you cannot easily close, cannot easily breathe, or you you will use your body to, to dislodge it. So here's another one. This is why I'm giving you these details because it's possible your machine is not too light. So if your machine is not too light, maybe you are using it, maybe you are about to install it, but you notice there are some differences in the materials inside it, so you'll be like, you'll be confused using it. So this iron, you just must leave your iron, but be a rubber, there's this rubber stopper that you may use it. Just put it there. The only thing you need is just a guide as well how to do it. It does not require any preparation or you going to do it. Four years course to study it. I never studied this though I've been in the machine for more than 10 years now. But it's just it's just a normal thing. So let's continue. <clears throat> In the motor. So before we bring the M blade on it, just to keep it this this drawer. Don't bother about the much of the boots. They are easy things. Like that we get where you use it. They are like, I don't even think they are sufficient. So well, it's very easy. <coughs> this this. So this two rubber are to hold it side. Just to be at the side here. Just to be at the side here. So. <coughs> So that I won't get the rubber spray, so that's I'm using a uh, star spray to hold it first. Let's start with it. So.
So, you are now fixing the drawer. You okay, see? So now, if you notice to the drawer, it's not beyond this side. If it's beyond, you get to spoil it anytime. So, let's complete our work. The next five minutes, I think I should be done. Five minutes. Alright. Now, this guy did not have a specific position where you can position it. There's no specific position there. Now, there are, there are about two determinants on how you, where you can position it. You have to consider those two before you nail this to the table itself. Now, the first is you have to fix these two, these two rods first. And how do you do that? Now, this, I have to make sure I caution you. You don't put it this way. When you put this this way, anytime you're using a machine, it can easily come out. When you put it on the other side of it, there's no how it's not possible for it to just bring that ball. By the time we start using the machine, you see the advantage of this thing I'm saying. They look very simple and straightforward. You know? They are like key essential things that majority of the even the installers don't know. So let's do this. Let's put it. Let me explain this. Let me explain this. The connection rod, the holder, you have this there. This is the nut. The nut comes in while the nut stays outside. Can you see? So after that, just bring the first one in. The first one in. And the second one to meet it. Now, let's position our table properly. Now I told you that this is the first determinant of it. Now you can see this if I should let me let me make it tight. If you notice by the time I do this off, it's not touching this bar. If it's touching this bar, then it's very rough. Because anything can happen in that this is an electric machine, it will be shocking. So if it's shocking and it's touching this bar, it's very dangerous for it. Please make sure you prevent it. So now that this is not touching it, let me screw it really hard to proceed. So just screw this. Screw it. Now, after this determinant, the next thing is, you know, if this table goes too much to the back, the pressure will be on this just side and to affect your to affect this. That's why the majority of the machine you see are using a machine to perceive that is, it's not balanced again, just have a slant kind of surface. So to prevent that, make sure this guy is kind of a bit positioned at least. This standing on at least it should be something directed to this side. So the machine will come and have a standing on it. So after that two <coughs> this notice the terminal this and your rod must not be touching the bar. If your rod is touching the bar, even though this is correct, if this is wrong, it's very dangerous. So make sure you adjust that. And if you notice you try to do it, thanks to that number and no adjusting, just come directly to your bottom. You can see these three knots back. Lose the three knots, put this to the front, tight it back, and it will work. So let's complete this. <coughs> That's that. <laughs> Thank you.
So <coughs> here we are. We are having extra knots here. Is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six. These six knots, I consider them to be extra. Though they are still space, if you can see, there's a spool here, but if you screw it to that side, I don't need anything. So it's a bit of just leave them, have them as fear. Anything is wrong with this, we can easily replace them. So now we are done with the table. It's to now we have to go to the main carton itself here and fix it. All right. You can get someone to help you handle it. You can turn it yourself. Earlier you want it, but just turn your machine. Yeah, the machine is standing already. So, the first I will talk about this stand is that. Let me do something. Your machine is not standing properly. Like what's happening here now? You can see our machine is dancing. <coughs> but we have a flat table yet, the machine is dancing. The solution is very easy. <coughs> so for more clear indications, for more clear indications, I have to bring out this carton so you can understand it. So let's do that. Break. Now, obviously, you can see the carton is off. Yeah. Yeah. Just try to skip that process so I won't take your time. Now, if your machine is dancing this way, then this is something is wrong. So you are here to figure it out. Now, this is it. We have two stands here that are adjustable. And those stands that are adjustable, you can just screw them to come up or to go down any of it. So, let's do that now. The first I'm doing here is um, um, using the one here. <laughs> you can see it's a bit minimal now. So this guy, because you see, these four, they are just screw, they screw them to the machine. So you can easily adjust it, tie it, lose it, any of it. Just screw it for your machine to start properly. So, Now the machine is standing. Can you see? So just adjust this down part and you have your machine standing properly. Not dancing and not doing any other funny aptitude. So let's continue. Fixing the head. You have a cat on the head. Sorry, my customer already used this, but it should be sealed. So, You don't need this. This is the belt. This is the belt. This is the belt of uh, your manual. Please, this manual. I know a lot of dealers that they just ban all this guy, they won't do anything with you. They have nothing to do with it. But to be straightforward with you, please read this manual. I repeat again, please read it. There is both Chinese and English on it. Please read it. Please, I'm begging you, read this manual. You have more information about the machine than you can even get from this video. So, this is the manual. This is the Rila. This is the Rila. In, in Nigeria, <laughs> we don't call this Rila, we call the bobbin of the Rila itself. So, this is the Rila. This is the machine cover. This is the wheel. So, there's no need of explaining this thing. Let us install our machine. And when we get to where they are needed, I will just give you details about them. And this is this. So let's continue. These are your screwdrivers. So, I will fix this later, but you enjoy it. Go on. 
Now, pay attention to this. This side and this side are different. This is the shuttle side, this is the belt side. You can see the belt here. So this is how this goes down here. You see it. If you turn it the other way, it will still go down. So that's why you should not make the mistake. You should not make the mistake. Okay. This is how it should be. So you have some you have this two there too. Let me bring it in and see it very easily. I see everything I'm having there. So this guy is to be here. You can see. If your own do not enter easily, just find something and eat it. Maybe in like one of the other. Just eat it. This is to be here. Let's continue. Now, this something here, something happened here that I want you to pay attention to during the camera program. I want you to pay quick attention to it. Attention to it. You can see the shape here is different from the shape of the rub of the fixing tool that they put here. You can see the shapes is different. So in case you are looking for something that will fix this hole, or you are giving something that can fix this hole, and the shape you have is just a round curve for this, that doesn't mean you can still use your machine. All you just have to do is put this there, this guy to here. If you put the two there, they will still work fine. So regardless of the shape provided there, your machine will still work fine. So. If you notice the other four, yeah, is these two light rubbers. Put them to where they belong. So put this here. Put this guy to where it belongs. So now if you put them that way, we have this. If it is the other set of rubber, you might possibly use it this machine. So if you're having this, you put it here. If you are not having it, don't bother about it. Okay? So this is this. This this. Oh now as you are viewing this video, please make sure you are going you are doing it alongside with your machine. Don't just stream the video and think you go back there and be a professional. While you are streaming it, keep looking, keep doing your own on the other side. You can pause it, continue, pause, continue, and make sure you don't forget to subscribe on my page. Thank you. So let's continue. After this, let's put this guy together. Let's put this guy enter easily. <coughs> After this guy, so these two are to be here. These two are to be here. Oh, now. This guy, this guy, don't bring it down. Don't change it. If this guy should go lost or you can't find it in your machine, please contact your supplier and get it. If it's not there, your oil will be wasted. So, apart from that, now I will fix this later. I should fix it now, but I'll fix it so we can have a proper understanding of how the lift can work. Let me bring out the edge. Let me bring it. This is the work itself. So sometimes to confirm you are buying the original tool and you can see it's engraved on it. If you are still not engraved on it, you are not buying it there, you are buying it for it. So let's continue. This is to be here. Let me show you clearly. You can see the hole here. This is to be here. Enter. Same as the one here. So by the time you are placing it to enter these two holes, this two space provided for it. So 
so sorry i must do this properly so the machine is sitting now the next thing we are fixing now is this machine wheel if it is too lion you have to go back to this thing i unleashed the other time you can see these two two screws on it you can see these two screws on it so this guy is coming here and the other guy now you can see this is where your screw will work this is where it should face down. Let me use my two for it. So I will use the customers. So, I mean, so. so notice. There's a flat surface here. All that sand and size around. This is just the flat surface. So just bring it in. Bring it in and you screw it. So that's that. We are not fixing the wheel. So the next thing we are doing now is we are putting the belt, the machine belt. This is it. Now when you are fixing this, you can see this size 41. It's possible you are giving size 40, it's possible you are giving 41. But any of it, your machine will still work, you see? So just put this to the back. Are you seeing it? Then this is your motor. This is your motor. Bring the belt to it. So by the time you are putting it back, to size. Now you can notice this belt is slack. It is slack. Come have a look from this side. You have a very slack belt. You have a very slack belt. Do you see? Your belt should not be as slack as this. Your machine might still work, but sometimes when you're about to sew some hard uh, material, you will notice that it should not be hard. So the solution to it is just very simple. You get a plier. Remember, I told you that you need a plier to work. You get a plier. The plier is where we are using it. The real size here is spanner 17, 18, but it's possible that you're not having it. Just get your plier. I have my 14 here, so it's only in my bag, but I want us to use plier because you are doing this for any one time. You should not be buying all the wire tools. So let's use the plier for it. Oh, wow. So you see it. Now, this same solution works when your machine is over speeding. Most especially if you can not purchase the other small pulley that I talked about in my previous videos, you can just check out to reduce your machine speed. So if you can't access the pulley, you can just bring this up a bit so that the belt will be a bit skippy while you're using it. But now we need the belt to be fixed. We are putting a proper machine. Okay, so when the belt is a bit low, it's, the belt should still be shaking. The belt should still be shaking, but not as touching it so that it was before. So, when it's properly set that way, screw it back again. You can see now it's hard and our belt is properly fixed. So, after that one, the next thing I'm doing now is I want to fix the anger, the thread anger. I don't know the name we call it in the street, but yeah, we call it anger. <laughs> So, is it? You have these two. 
you have this. It's possible that this there will be two O's here as you have in there, and you'll be having O here too. Don't be tricked out. This is not where you are going to use. You are using this side. You can see the O here. You can see it. So let me open this. Side of it, do you notice? Know this is the long side of it, so this should come in like this. So, See, I'm taking my time to screw this. But screw this is more hard. You just notice the machine is just so many hours. It takes today, tomorrow, that's change angle, angle again. So this one. So this guy and this guy too will go for each other. We don't break. No, it's facing off. You see? Can you see the way I'm spraying this, please? Don't make a mistake of not bringing it in the way that is the wheel has not proper. Okay. There's a stopper for the mid wheel, so when you put it, notice it stops. So, just leave it when you stop it. So. setting this all you just do is you lose, lose this side of it bring this out can you see this yo that thing is standing properly on it even without screwing it because it was properly fixed so pay attention to it when you are fixing it so you have to stay long they are having the wrong work. 
So after that, you can see washer, rubber, washer. Washer, do you see it? This is the washer, this is the rubber, this is the washer, and this is the loss. So you put the washer first before you put the rubber. So let's see. Show on that. Abi. So the rubber first, then the knot. Already. You see that? So the next thing you are fixing here is you are fixing this guy for the lifter. You are fixing the lifter. So in the lifter we have this and we have this. So here we are using the spanner 13 size. We are using 13 size for this. You see? So now. You can see the way I'm positioning it. You can see it. Sometimes you have to screw this nut up to have a better position. Please. I don't I can't be explaining these settings because you just but just do it the way I'm doing it. Just do it the way I'm doing it. Because by the time I'm telling you that the free space, the the looping, how to free the thread, it's to me like ah, you know, boy, it's on soil. What is this guy saying? Go. Let's just do it this way. You wanna you, you understand it? So after that, this guy goes this way. The next thing we are doing now is we are fixing this cover and this lila. Mm -hmm. Now, you can fix this separately, you can fix this separately. But sometimes when you make a mistake in fixing this, it will affect this. You made any mistake fixing this, it will affect this. So the best we can have now is for you to please pay proper attention to this. It's very, very important. So, for your better have you let me just try and adjust my machine a bit. Ah. So let's start. Let me just unleash this potential inside this guy. Let's see how beautiful it can come. So the knots I lose here, you can see we have this long bad knot. We have this let me call it big knot. We have this big knot. You have this kind of flat, kind of flat edge on it. Kind of, can you see? This is different from this. This is different from this. Can you see them? And we have these knots here. I'm picking one, two, three, four, five knots in total now. So when you get here, when you get here, you have. You can see the one with flat surface. You put it here. The reason is there are other machine attachments that you can put here, but to prevent the threading side from getting out, you know, anything just can't play with it. That's why you're having this one here. So, this big guy will come here. See, I'm using plier to, to so it's possible yours too is not free. You can use plier, you can get a screwdriver to so now properly fix this guy. You can see. That's that. So now, if you notice, I've not screwed this guy. I'm just putting it there. So let's put this now. So we can.
Eu vou passar isso aqui. So what we do now is this small nut is to come here. You fix it first. I'm fixing it first. Now this thing I'm putting here is is that so that. Why this guy is rolling? It will not affect. You can see this guy. Why? Why is rolling? So that it will not touch this side of it. So that's why you can see. That's why I say you have to put it side by side. Now, if you put it in this position and put it, definitely it's connected to the belt inside. You can see the belt kind of pushing it back from you. Definitely it's connected this way. Sorry, I made a mistake the other time. This way, there is a knot here. This knot must not be touching this um, covering. So this knot, let me show you the knot properly. So this knot is one of our considering factors here. Because if the knot is not properly positioned, it will just be making noise with the stuff. So when you are doing this, there is a hidden side you can can you see let me see if the camera can show it to you clearly <laughs> now the camera is picking it you can know if you see you can see the belt you can see the belt inside it can you see the belt you can see the belt you can see this so make sure this is directly on the belt you see it's now on the belt so why is on the belt make sure this guy will not touch the body then you will nail it so let me know. Let me nail it. Let me nail it. Let me nail it. So we are not just staying for two. We are not staying for two. Let's add additional one to it. Let's add additional one to it. After you are done with this, then bring back your two big knots. Let's put, them, let's put them where they belong. Yeah, I'm going to make this place for I guess it is slant. 